Guys, I want to start off this video by saying sorry to you. For those of you who saw yesterday's video, I spoke about not giving out agents and coaches number, and I feel that may have came across that I don't want to help you guys. And for all of you guys, I hope you understand that I'm doing this YouTube stuff to help you guys. I want you guys to succeed just as much as I want to succeed. So please understand that if you do, thank you so much. Now on top of that, what I should have said is that I don't actually have the right to give out scouts or coaches numbers, especially when they say to me, can I remain anonymous? I need to respect that. You guys need to respect that as well. I just simply do not have the right to breach that privacy. So please understand that. I'm sorry if anything came across wrong yesterday. You guys know you mean the absolute world to me. Your support is insane. So let's move on. It's a new day, new video. What's going on, Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. Today is Friday. Usually I train on a Friday, and I want to say this to you guys straight away. Some of you guys have been saying Sheldon's having a lot of rest days. Guys, it's right. I'm just, yeah, I'm just not training. I just, yeah, just training isn't for me anymore. No, but really, I'm being careful with my body. If you watched the video the day before yesterday, I said that I had a pain in my calf and it's the exact same leg which put me out for four weeks or however long it was. Now that same sort of pain has popped up again so I might go down to the physio sometime soon and see whether I can get it checked up because I feel like it's a cork but I'm not too sure. So I need to be really careful with myself because this is a very important time. There's no point me going out and training for an hour to improve myself when the most important thing now is to make sure that I'm ready because man, this is pretty sore. Very, very frustrating. So yes, I'm having a few rest days, doesn't really matter. Like your body always comes first before training, especially in times like this where I'm trialing for clubs. You know how stupid it would be for me to go out and train with Jay today at the park, injure myself because I didn't rest my body and then I'm injured and out for four weeks. What, 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 what would be the point of that? So you need to be careful. You need to have rest days if your body needs rest days. It's not like I'm not bothered to go and do stuff. I wanna get out there. I said to Jay before, I was like, man, I really wanna go to the park today. He's like, well, why don't we? I was like, my calf, like, I'm struggling, man. I wanna get out there. So trust me, I, I'm not being lazy. I'm not being not bothered. I'm looking after my body because me being out for four weeks is just like, I may as well just go back to Australia now if I'm out for four weeks. So yeah, no training today. What I'm going to do right now is give the agent dash scout guy a call, update him on what happened with Whitehawk because he hasn't heard from me yet. And then I'll explain the situation to him kind of similar to what I was talking about in yesterday's video and then basically see his approach because that will be important for me and important for him to know the next steps forward. So I'm not sure when that will be, maybe later in the day. So mate, are we going to the gym later? Yeah. What are you right. working? Here we go, hit us with it. You can answer for me mate. Don't Chest. Yeah. I'll be working back. <laughs> no, no, I'll probably do a bit of back as well. Okay, decent. decent. Chest, chest every session. But yeah, yeah, well. bit, bit chest. Anyway, so I told you about what happened with Whitehawk yesterday. Mm -hmm. They've asked me to continue to keep training with them. So here's the problem, right? At Whitehawk, I don't know if it's the same for every other club, mm -hmm. at 6th Division, they train twice a week. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're, let's say you're full-time with them, right? You've signed a contract. Mm -hmm. You can't be training with other clubs. Yeah. So if you're with Whitehawk, you're training twice a week. Mm -hmm. And for someone like me and you, at 20 years of age, we want to be training... Like yeah, yeah. four or five times a week depending on how much our body can take i think it's um in the conference so obviously everything above like league two and above is full time okay yeah of so, course and there's also but then there's teams in conference and conference north and south as well that are full-time and part-time right yeah that makes so sense it should be like a part-time so yeah in, so in that case players get paid less because they're not doing as much so yeah like, see i i, I want to be training three four times a week but the thing is at the present time mm. I can be training with Whitehawk twice a week training with Crowley three four times a week mm -hmm. and then depending on how much like with sessions overlapping same days you basically be training every day yeah exactly so I think it's a good way forward to improve mm -hmm. but you know what it's not going to give me playing time no. because I spoke to you off camera about this last night no. that they're in a position where they're not going to risk uh, a young player that they don't know. Yeah. Like, they have X League 2 players, like, X League 1 players from not, like, five years ago, from, like, last season. Yeah, yeah. They have Plymouth Argyle player who was there. They have some top players, and it makes things very difficult because mm. I want to be playing. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's hard for you to actually break into the squad. To oh, yeah, it's well. like almost impossible. Yeah. Like, you can be the best player and you're not going to break into that squad yeah. because they don't want to risk it. So what do you suggest? What do you think I do? I think, see, for me, if I was in your position, yep. I'd stick with both, doing both. Whitehawk and Crawley. And just accept the fact you're probably not going to play many games till the rest of the season at all. Yeah. And then next season, hope that you've done well enough through the trial period at Whitehawk. See you. See ya. Have you done enough through the trial period at Whitehawk that they sign you on for the next season? Yeah. As, like a, as a full-time player. Do you think it would be worth investigating other opportunities? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They can't stop you from investigating because you're not signed. Yeah, of course. So you can do whatever you want. Right, okay, yeah. I think maybe that's something that I've just got to cop on the chin that I'm not going to play. Oh, where are we now? We're mid-March? There's only about a month left. A month and a half left. It sucks. It's gonna... And then you have to get your clearance while you do that as well. You have yeah. to get deregistered. It's just, you probably not going to, the most amount of games you probably play is two or three. Mm. So. It's difficult. I think, it, like this pro contract, the real chance of it coming is in pre-season. Yeah. Like next season, because you you would know this a lot better than me. Mm. In pre-season here, are you more likely to get a chance to train with a Crawley yeah, or yeah. Accrington during pre-season? Definitely, yeah. So yeah, much more involved. Yeah, it's tough. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. I still need to speak to the scout agent guy yeah. later today and <laughs> basically just go from there because I don't know what I'm going to do, man. It's tough. Cool. Tough, tough, tough. Tough everyone, mate. Yeah. Smile on your face. It's not easy to get to the top. It's not easy to get to the top, but if, if it was easy, everyone would do it. So Exactly. Then everyone would be named Ronaldo and Ronaldo Messi. Very true. So now that I have a girl in my life, it makes it difficult for me because now I have to prioritise football. Obviously, always, football is a massive priority for me, but comes before anything. YouTube, girls, it's what I want to do in life, and I prioritise that number one. Well, family is number one, but if we're talking right now, like, if family, everything is okay, Football is number one. And then after football, I have my other passions, of course. But now I need to balance it and I need to use my time very wisely. So when I was cooking before, I was just having to chill out, listen to some music. Now I kind of got to cook, edit for you guys and kind of just do it all in one because I need to use my time wisely. I need to make sure that I'm doing all the appropriate football stuff, whether it's juggling, whatever. In saying juggling, I want to quickly say I'm going to bring back the juggling which I did with a lot in Spain. I want to try and do that every day, try and aim for a record or something. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'll introduce it very soon. But I need to get all the football stuff in. I need to get the editing in. I need to eat properly. I need to see people. And we all have the same 24 hours. It's just that my 24 hours might be a lot different to your 24 hours. The difference is, I got a lot of stuff to do. My passion is showing you guys this journey, making these videos for you, providing value, but overall I want to play football and for me to be able to do that means that I don't want to get another job, I don't want to work eight hours a day because that's going to take away from me becoming a professional footballer. So once I finish cooking and showing you the meal, then we will go and chat with Jay. Actually, we'll be doing that on the way to the gym. This meal is pretty good. I found this thing called Hunter's Chicken the other day. I've had this once and I didn't show you guys. Basically, it's two fillets of chicken, breast fillet, I think, with cheese and bacon on it. Then I got the sweet potato. Then I got the carrots and the broccoli. Getting the veggies, this, like, this is just what I cook, really. <laughs> now, while I'm doing that, I'm replying to your comments. I know you guys can't see. I try to reply to every single one, but it's a lot of work. It might take a day or two before I actually reply to it but I do get to every single one of them. So be patient, if you comment, I will reply. Then I also got a juice and water there, so I need to smash this out and then I'm going to the gym with Jay. Yo, my calf is so sore. You know the one that I did again in the Brentford match? Yeah. I think it's come up again. And I have no idea why or what I did to make it happen. Because you're always injured, that's why. Yeah, I'm always injured. That's what it is, guys. <laughs> I'm, I've broken it to you. I'm always injured. Now, this is a one-off thing, but usually I don't get injured very much, but my calf has flared up again. I, one, Like I said, I need to see the physio. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I said to Jay this morning, did I say to you this morning, do you want to go to the park, or was that yesterday? Well, I thought we were talking about yesterday, and then yeah. you were like, you're depending on I, my Yeah, calf. I can't. And then I said to you, all right, we'll go tomorrow. Mm. Man, I don't know if I can go tomorrow. Like, this is killing killing me. Oh, it's frustrating. What have you been up to today? Not a lot. To be Not a lot. Living the football is life. Yeah. You know what I saw before? A Bamiyang playing FIFA. It's alright to play FIFA. Yeah. It's alright to do what you like with your spare time. You can't be football 24-7. I keep hammering that to you guys. 
balance your life out. Make sure you're seeing friends. Make sure you're living a life outside of football as well as focusing on your goals. So off to the gym we go. Got a quick question. How much do you reckon I weigh? Um, go on. Quick guess. Quick 65. Guess. 65. 64 is my guess. We're gonna check when we get back home. When it gets, when it gets, I oh, don't know, whatever. <laughs> Voice over, yo, what up? Look at these chin ups, right? I don't know if this is weird, let me know in the comments, but look at my shoulders. So there you can see I really jolt it with one shoulder and like my left arm is almost popping out. So I decided to do a voiceover to see if you guys know anything about this. Am I trying too hard? Am I not going up in good form? Let me know down in the comments. I'm really interested to hear. Cable pull down. Well, I just want to say thank you if you do because you're a legend. Team Tweety, you guys are the absolute best. Cable pull down, better form, I think. Overhead press, much better. I put 32.5s on. You guys did get to see that though. And then finishing off with bent over row, I went with the old form because a lot of you guys were asking for that. So I decided to do that. Didn't really uh, measure it with the weights because I feel like it's a different exercise almost. So I feel like I might just mix it up each week. I, I don't know. It just depends what I'm feeling. You can see I tried 32.5. Didn't work out. Just finished our gym session. How'd you go? Yeah, we're all right, mate. How about you? Yeah, I think I did pretty well. My weight's getting up there. Well, one thing you guys didn't get to see, I went to do my barbell press up, mm -hmm. right? And I put 42.5 kilos mm. when I was supposed to be 32.5. Oh, wow. And I didn't realize I did four of them. I'm like, man, this is heavy. Yeah. And I was like, oh, what? man, I put 42 on, not 32. <laughs> anyway, we were talking on the way home yeah. uh, about positions. And mm. you're saying that you love right back. And I'm like, Actually, man, yeah, I enjoy it. Though. Tell us why, because I can't, I could never play right back, I don't think. I know, it's like the most. If I had to, yeah. I played in like most positions. Obviously, probably not striker as much as like most people have played striker before. Yeah. But I've played in pretty much every other position a lot, except for goalkeeper. And it's just the position I enjoy the most. But why? I don't know, I just, it's just... Do you like tackling people? Yeah, like, I like defending. I used to be a centre back when I was younger, so I like defending. And I like attacking, I like getting on, I like beating players. And you were playing midfield, like, you've tried positions. I think it's just about trying each position and seeing what you like. Yeah. Because for me... I couldn't play football if I wasn't scoring goals, yeah. or if I wasn't assisting. Yeah, but there's no expectation to score goals, so when you do score a goal, it's like a big deal. Sure. So, yeah. But it also makes it like, I don't know, it just make yeah, I just enjoy it. I, I, don't I just know. enjoy it. <laughs> I respect people like you because... Surely not getting the keys out. Oh man, they're <laughs> in my back pocket as well. But yeah, man, I gotta be scoring goals if I play football, assisting. But if it came to it and I, the coach said, look, Sean and Key, you play right back outside, yeah, sure. Yeah, but who scored on Monday? Yeah, mate. All right, not supposed to be up here. I've got the scales. I'm gonna jump on them and let you guys know how much I weigh. That was legit 64 kilos, but I've got this on. I've got some trackies on. It might be 63.7, which I still think is decent. I need to up the food ideally. I think I might want to be 65. And I need to head back downstairs. I'm not supposed to be up here. And I just got told off because I left the oven on for about three hours. Whoops. All right, guys, that is going to conclude today's video. I didn't actually get hold of the agent. He must be busy, so I'm going to continue to text him, try and get that info to you guys because I want to know what's happening as much as you do. Now, in all honesty, I'm worried about my calf. When I was in the gym, walking from one side of the gym to the other just to use a different weight or machine killed me. So I think tomorrow I'm going to try and get into the physio. It, this, this is urgent now. If I'm out for another four, six weeks, that's pretty much the end of the season and I may as well go home. So we'll see. Fingers crossed it's nothing too bad. It could be horrible or it could be very good. At the end of the day, I just need to find the benefits in it. But anyway, 10, 20, I'm signing out. Make sure you leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Join the journey and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye. Listen.